they say it's the thought that counts. We're not sure what some of these celebs were thinking, though. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 ridiculous celebrity gifts. For this list, we're taking a look at flashy, expensive, and just plain bizarre gifts that celebrities either bought or received. We've excluded Christmas gifts, though, because they already have a list of their own. Damn, these things are fast! Number 10. Blood Vial Necklaces Angelina Jolie and Billy Bob Thornton It was really helpful to me. It was great. Long before Brangelina was a thing, Angelina Jolie and Billy Bob Thornton were among Hollywood's most prominent power couples. Their unlikely union raised plenty of eyebrows, and this gift didn't exactly lower those eyebrows. Oh, what makes you think I have problems? Both celebs were busy making movies in the early 2000s. Since they couldn't spend a lot of time together, Jolie picked up a pair of lockets to commemorate their love. Instead of putting pictures inside, though, the couple cut their fingers with a razor blade and smeared their blood on the necklaces. So tonight, I make a toast. Oh, what? What do you got there? Oh, oh, yeah. The two exchanged these blood lockets and wore them around each other's necks. We've heard the phrase, love is thicker than blood, but Angie and Billy might have taken this saying too literally. I suppose that whole time was quite a whirlwind, and that was, you know, an amazing time, and I've never been fond of it. Number 9. Alexander McQueen Armadillo Boots Taylor Kinney <laughs> It's no secret that Lady Gaga has an outlandish fashion sense. In 2015, the singer's then fiance model slash actor Taylor Kinney made a generous donation to her over the top wardrobe. At an auction, Kinney bought three pairs of Alexander McQueen armadillo boots, which were handcrafted in Italy from python skin and wood. These shoes had an estimated worth of ten to fifteen thousand dollars each. Kinney, however, coughed up a whopping two hundred and ninety five thousand dollars for all three. Regardless, Gaga went gaga over her new boots, showing them off on Instagram. Plus, the proceeds went towards UNICEF's relief efforts in Nepal, where multiple destructive earthquakes had occurred earlier that year. So it really was a win-win situation for everyone. Do you wanna see me love? Number 8. Maseratis – Adam Sandler Shut the hell up, rich boy! Say what you will about some of Adam Sandler's movies, but anybody who's worked with the funny man will tell you he's one of the nicest guys in the biz. You want to be my friend? I'll take that. <laughs> if this gift proves anything, it's that you couldn't ask for a better friend. In 2010's Grown Ups, Sandler starred alongside fellow comedians Kevin James, Chris Rock, David Spade, and Rob Schneider. Hollywood. Hollywood. See, he always lucks out. <laughs> I always Critics might have panned the film, although that didn't stop it from grossing over $270 million. Sandler decided to spread the wealth, buying Maseratis for his four co-stars. Each luxury vehicle cost $200,000, amounting to eight hundred dollars overall. Talk about a real-life Mr. Deeds. Can you believe Deeds bought us all these? <laughs> Number 7. Condoms – Amy Schumer I had sex with this guy, and we couldn't find the condom. Amy Schumer has never been one to shy away from unrefined humor, even when it comes to the President of the United States. In 2015, GQ magazine brought several celebrities together to honor President Barack Obama. Tracy Morgan bought him a classy watch, while Julia Louis-Dreyfus offered an elegant oil painting. It is of Karl Rove on Fox News, freaking out when you won Ohio. Schumer, meanwhile, presented the president with a sleeve of condoms. Some people might find this gift to be in poor taste. Coming from Schumer, though, it's actually the highest compliment possible. After all, she did get him Magnum condoms. And here's a parting gift. Magnum. I'm assuming. If anything, GQ's Man of the Year should be flattered. Obama up. <laughs> Number six, two horses. Jamie Foxx. I was looking for you. To so use I a proper that you've, uh, you've moved. Well, it's beautiful here because you can play music and have pigeons clapping as they take off. In The Soloist, Robert Downey Jr. stars as a journalist who strikes up a friendship with a homeless musician, played by Jamie Foxx. It's safe to say these two acting giants have a strong bromance off-screen as well. Daddy, don't you know Iron Man? Can't you hook it up? It's my birthday. Downey faced the ultimate first world problem when he purchased a house with two stables, but no horses. 
to make sure those stables didn't go unattended. Fox got Downey two horses for his 45th birthday. And he gave me these horses. Uh, I, I, I don't really ride. Downey would return the favor on Fox's 43rd birthday, getting him a 1967 vintage El Camino. Considering that Tony Stark sported an El Camino in Iron Man and the titular character in Django Unchained rode a horse, this was a truly fitting gift exchange. He's the top of the West. Always cool is the best. Number 5. A Bag of Vomit, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga appears once again on our list, although this time she's giving rather than receiving. Gaga is known for her unpredictable personality. Likewise, American Horror Story can be a totally unpredictable anthology series. When the singer turned actress checked in for the show's fifth season, it seemed like a match made in heaven. I have to say, she's one of the great professional joys in my life. On her first day of shooting, Gaga was feeling ill and threw up in a Ziploc bag. Not wanting to see perfectly good vomit go to waste, Gaga gave the bag to the show's creator, Ryan Murphy. Shit on it, vomit on it, eat it, give birth to it. He's all those things. This gift might have been strange, disgusting, and disturbing. And again, the same can be said about American Horror Story. So perhaps Gaga was just getting into character. <laughs> Number 4. Staples Center Date – Justin Bieber oh, baby, you should go and love yourself. Whether you love or hate Justin Bieber, there is no denying that being his significant other would have its perks. At the age of 17, the pop star took his then-girlfriend Selena Gomez to a Demi Lovato concert. Don't tell your mother, kiss one another, die for each other. We're cool for the summer. Following the performance, Bieber treated Gomez to dinner and a movie. That might not sound very extravagant, but the Biebs went all out by renting the entire Staples Center. Surrounded by 20,000 empty seats, the couple ate an intimate meal of steak and pasta while Titanic played on the screen. Can we, we keep, keep each other company? Bieber got to use the arena for free, although the date reportedly would have cost him $475,000. Number 3. Golden Crusted Wisdom Tooth – Scarlett Johansson yeah. I've got some kind of bad news, though. No, what's that? Which is that I just I have to get all four of my wisdom teeth removed. Angelina Jolie and Billy Bob Thornton might have freaked people out with their blood lockets, but this piece of jewelry is another level of weird. Yes, now, are these, uh, are these impacted? Yes, the lower ones are slight. Wow, you're really interested. While dating actor Ryan Reynolds in 2007, Scarlett Johansson had her wisdom teeth removed. The blonde bombshell decided to cover one tooth in gold and strung it onto a necklace. Johansson gave the necklace to Reynolds for his 31st birthday. You need to seriously ease up on the bedazzling. Apparently, she literally wanted him to have a piece of her. The couple would wed the following year, although they divorced in 2011. I'm not in the mood. We wonder who got the golden crusted tooth after the breakup. Find it! Right? I'm finding it! I'm gonna get angry! Right. Number 2. 10 Burger Kings. Kanye West. One good girl is worth a thousand bitches. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West had one of the most excessive and expensive celebrity weddings to date. So it's only appropriate that Kanye got Kim one of the most lavish wedding gifts of all time. In 2014, the rapper reportedly purchased 10 branches of Burger King for his bride to be. But I feel like a good birder, cause I ain't here to hurt her, man. And she was messing with me when I was still a Burger King. These restaurants were located all over the world, ranging from France to Italy to the United Kingdom. Kanye felt this gift would help Kim to grow as a businesswoman and expand her career beyond television. Someone's gonna get fired. Kardashian is already the selfie queen, the social media queen, and the reality TV queen. Now she can add Burger Queen to her resume. I kind of cut out a lot of things that I felt like weren't 100% meaningful to me or worth the time that I was spending away from my family. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. A Trip 
to space. Katy Perry. We've seen some pretty ridiculous gifts on this list, but Katy Perry went to infinity and beyond for Russell Brand's birthday present. As far as I understand, <laughs> I have to go there and promise that that's it for sex with everyone else. <laughs> During her engagement to Brand in 2010, the singer purchased a $200,000 ticket to outer space. That's right, outer space. Made possible through the spaceflight company Virgin Galactic. This trip would involve traveling over 365,000 feet into the Earth's atmosphere at a rate three times faster than the speed of sound. After blastoff, Brand would get to see the world around 800 miles in any direction. This sounds like the kind of wacky misadventure Aldous Snow would get mixed up in. Perhaps I will. Perhaps I'll pop over and bomb with him. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Apparently, fiction doesn't stray too far from reality sometimes, especially when your fiance is Katy Perry. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? What do you think is the most ridiculous celebrity gift? For more entertaining top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. She thought it would be interesting and romantic if we took a little razor blade and sliced our fingers, smeared a little blood on these lockets, and you wear it around your neck, just like you wear your son or daughter's baby hair in one.